Alright, so here's another story. So, my friend, and this is the weekend, so uh, I'm pretty sure it was Friday night. Might have been Saturday night, but I'm almost 100% sure it was uh, Friday night. We'll just say 90% sure it was Friday night and not Saturday night. So, my friend, uh, I can't remember whether he texted me or called me up, but he was my friend from school and we hung out it was just a group of us guys and girls that hung out and there was probably a group of um, 15 or so of us that were like good friends and we hang out and everything so I didn't think anything about it and I had hung out before with him at the loop so I didn't think anything about it so the loop is like a place where you go to like shop and hang out and you can eat there's places to eat there and you go to the movie theater and watch movies so I thought we were gonna go see a movie and everything and go hang out and he was supposed to pick me up me and my friend up so uh, me and my friend go to meet him and he had told us where to meet him it was down the road a little ways so I was just like alright well yeah we'll just walk over there so I had taken some money on me to, to go to Loop because you need money to go to the you got to have money to pay for movies and stuff like that. So he knew that I was going to bring money on me. And I normally take about the same amount of money when I go places like that to the loop. So he probably knew from last time about how much money I was going to take with me this time. So uh, anyways, we get down the road and there's... Uh, three people standing out there pretty sure it was three no it wasn't three it was five people yeah there were five people standing out there and I'm like oh well where's Ishmo I'll say his name Ishmo but anyways he can get mad at me all he wants for saying his name he's an idiot anyways I don't like him now but so Ishmo I'm like well where's Ishmo we're supposed to go he's like oh he's in the car over there so we go to go up to the car, and as soon as I reach the side of the car to go to get in, to open the door, I get hit from behind about five times pretty quick with uh, brass knuckles. This guy just started hitting me with brass knuckles. So he split me open and dazed me, and I turned around, and in the time that I'm turning around, he hit me two to three times on the side and then front to two times in the front of my head so like a total of like nine or ten times I was hit with the brass knuckles so he dazed me really bad when he hit me in the front of the head and split me open so I went down on my back I was like knocked down but not knocked out I didn't lose consciousness but I was like really dazed getting hit with the brass knuckles <laughs> yeah so anyways so I went down and as I went down, I up kicked him. But time had slowed down for me because if you, you've watched my previous video about uh, meeting a Beck, which is black eyed kid, uh, uh, urban legend person, or being, or creature, or whatever you want to call him. Well, anyways, so uh, yeah, when my adrenaline gets kicked full, time slows down. Like really slow for me. So. I up kicked them three times really fast like one two three and then uh, as soon as I had kicked him the third time he finally reacted and it knocked him out and he, and he almost lost consciousness almost like he was really out of it and he backed up against the car because he fell back onto the car if the car hadn't been there he would have fell down on the ground so his friend took him and um, took his arm and put it over his shoulder and they took off like as fast as they possibly could so I stood up and I looked to the right and I see my friend surrounded by like uh, the rest of the people so that would have been like three or four people because I'm pretty sure there was like four people on them and I'm like well where did this other person come from I thought it was a little bit strange it was either like four or five people like there was either one or two extra people that had come out and started beating on him. So I'm like, oh, I got to go help out my friend. 
So I started running up to my friend and as soon as I reached him, I reached the group of people, I went to kick one of the person one of the people off of him. And a horde of people started coming out of the bushes and from behind cars in the neighborhood. There must have been at least thirty people. It was between thirty and fifty people all wearing camo and face paint and body paint and everything. They were like really camouflaged, so that's why we didn't know they were there when we went up. But yeah, they just all came out and started flooding the street, running towards us, me and him. And as soon as I saw them, I'm like, oh, well, this is crazy. So I went to kick the person off. Uh, the second time to go to kick the person off, I saw my friend pull out a knife. And so as soon as he pulled out a knife, I'm like, oh, he can handle himself. So I took off running because there was like 30 odd people coming towards me. And I'm like, oh, all right, that's a little bit too much for me to handle myself. So, and there was only two of us. So I was like two against 30 to 50 people. That's not going to happen. So I'm like, all right, well, my friend, he's just going to stab somebody to get them off of him and then create enough space that he's going to take off. I knew he wasn't gonna just stick around and try and fight 30 people off so yeah so I knew that he, that was what he was gonna do so I took off running and as soon as I took off running uh, everyone stopped turned around and started running back like all over the place like there were people jumping fences just any way to get away people hopping in cars and taking off and everything but i was still running away i was just like oh well even though that they're scared running away all of a sudden now for some odd reason i'm still gonna run away to make sure that i put as much distance between me and these 30 odd people that are trying to jump me and my friend so uh and yeah, they had they had already robbed me. The guy that uh, was with the brass knuckle guy had robbed me after I was getting hit with brass knuckles. He had reached in and taken my money, but I wasn't really worried about the money. I was just like, well, let me get out of this situation. So I ran to the end of the street and then slowed down because I had put enough distance between me and them. They had all went the other direction. They had went... Uh, let's see the way I was going they would probably would have went south and I was running north up the street and the street was really long it was like a two mile street and we were a mile and a half down the street so I ran a mile and a half up the street and then slowed down and, and uh, practically stopped to look back to see if my friend had escaped and I saw him running up there and and then uh, time started coming back to normal for me because uh, uh, the situation was over and everything like that. So I heard him yelling and everything, but I still just kept running because I wanted to get back to the uh, back to his house as quick as possible because I was gushing out blood from being hit with the brass knuckles. So anyway, so uh, we're talking about it a few days later, and he's like you took off so fast that you literally disappeared he said i literally disappeared and he said as soon as i disappeared that it created a distraction and everyone stopped fighting him and everyone stopped running towards him and they all just started taking off and running off and everything and then he said that he took off running after me to the end of the street <laughs> to catch up with me and everything he said that he wouldn't have been able to get away if i hadn't caused that distraction because he said when he had uh, went to stab one of the people with his pocket knife in self-defense, uh, he dropped it because he's Mr. Fumbles. And fum <laughs> yeah, Mr. Fumbles is a good name for him. So my friend dropped his knife and fell down to the ground. And he, uh, he said right then I had taken off and everyone just stopped fighting. They didn't kick him or anything when he was on the ground. They were done fighting. They were so scared from me that they all just took off and ran and hopped in the cars and drove off as fast as they could. They wanted to get as far away from me as possible. But he said that um, he timed it in his head and he said it took me three seconds to run from where I was to the end of the street. But I asked him how he counted it and at the time, this is before the 
Mandela effect changed time. He said that he counted to three, which would mean at the time, because at the time, it, time was different with the Mandela effect. So, yeah, Mandela effect hadn't changed time at that time. So you had to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi for it to be three seconds, like he said. But he said he only counted one, two, three. And so it was probably closer to one to one and a half seconds it took me to run one and a half miles. All right, see ya. Oh, yeah. And then I don't know if I mentioned, but I ran so fast that I literally disappeared to them because a person's eye, I, this was what I was going to explain, a person's eye, it, it takes like still images, right? So it's uploading still images and there's a pause section between each of them that you're taking in pictures of the environment so every like I don't know like a third of a second or a little bit less I think it's around a third of a second about every third of a second you have a gap because your vision isn't fast enough to process it so you have like a gap so I ran so fast that I was in that gap and there they weren't able to visually process it fast enough so I was moving so fast that I literally disappeared to them and they couldn't see me alright yeah so I did the math but I'm not good at math and I uh I, my math said it was right around 7,000 miles per hour, so I was uh, sprinting, a slow sprint. Like when I say I was running, I was just sprinting away. So my sprint was, uh, my slow sprint, I wasn't even sprinting as fast as I could, was about 7,000 miles per hour. And uh, I'm not very good at math, so you guys go down and comment in this section exactly how fast I was running. I ran one and a half miles in approximately one and a half seconds. So, one and a half miles in one and a half seconds, how fast was I sprinting? Please comment down below. I don't know how to do the math very well, so yeah, you'll just have to tell me in the comment section, please, exactly how fast I was running in miles per hour please or meters per second if you're in Great Britain watching this or Europe or something yeah just comment down below in meters per second or miles per hour how fast I was running yeah, alright see ya